Oh my gosh, the seasons are changing and I gotta get the right wines for the fall. Same? Okay, perfect. Good thing. Today we're doing a top 10 video. The top wine varietals for fall 2021. Well, actually 10-ish. Pierre Asti, sommelier and founder of Asti Wine Consultants. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to take the guesswork out of which wines would be perfect to have on hand uh, going into the cooler months. We'll look at the different varietals you may want to be purchasing. The reason I'm not showing you specific wines is because everybody has different financial means. All the wine experts and gurus tell you which specific wines to purchase for the fall. That's great, but what if you can't afford it? It's too cheap for your liking or you just simply can't find it. While I personally enjoy phenomenal wines under $15, I don't want to superimpose my financial expectations on you. So I'm going to stay more general by giving you the top wine varietals or categories for the fall. At the end of the day, most of the, the gurus just waste your time showing you what specific wines because they want you to purchase it from them. I would like you to purchase uh, my wines, but the reality is it's not about me, it's about you. After watching this video, you'll have the best, most phenomenal varietals to choose from. Hopefully, one or even a handful will pique your interest, then you can either Oh, go to my site and purchase wine uh, that meets your personal budget in that particular varietal or go to the store and get it there. But <laughs> I'll say I believe you'll find my price is much better. Also, I'll have a wider selection than either your wine shop or your grocery store. Now, if you have any questions about purchasing through my site, just comment below or send me a message over Facebook or Instagram. I'll be happy to help you make uh, the best purchase that fits your individual needs. All right, so here's the outline for today's episode. To save you time, I'll do a quick introduction of each varietal and give you a couple of key facts about uh, that varietal, including some guidelines for food pairings. Finally, there'll be a real quick bonus at the end. Folks, keep in mind, if at any time you find this information helpful, click like or subscribe or hit the little bell so you'll be notified when I have a new post. Now, let me clarify things from the beginning, right up front. First, these varietals are not ranked from best to worst. I've actually organized them from the lightest to the heaviest body. Second, and really, uh, this is the most important tip I can uh, give you when it comes to choosing a wines for the fall. Stick to fuller body whites and light to medium bodied reds. These are the perfect complements to cooler weather and fall harvest foods. You'll see what I mean as we go through this list together today. Also, I'm not going to, to touch on Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec. Everybody knows about those wines and they're on the heavier side of the spectrum, often too heavy for this time of year. All right, let's begin with whites. Uh, the first is Riesling. Uh, this is one of the most interesting and versatile white wines available. Though often sweet and viscous, dry Rieslings can be found from uh, producers in both Germany and in the US, particularly in Washington state. Frequently, it has intense aromas and flavors and is lower in alcohol. Here's some of what you can expect. Because it's made anywhere from sweet to dry, Riesling is one of the most food-friendly wines you can find. As you see, it pairs well with a whole variety of foods. You'll probably spend a dollar or two more the drier you get. Now we have the Gruner Wittliner, or some call it Gruner Veltliner. Uh, this is a light and zesty wine. You can see the, the key features on the taste profile and food pairing chart. The minerality makes Gruner's perfect for oysters and clams and a whole variety of seafoods. You'll definitely want to keep some Gruner around during the R months. That's any month of the year that has an R in it. 
particularly the months ending in R, September, October, November, and December. Those are the best months for oysters and clams to be harvested. And again, oysters and Gruner are a winning combination. The next white wine is Sauvignon Blanc. It has exploded in popularity over the last several years. Uh, it's one of the, the more popular wines today. You can see the flavors here, both with and without oak. The thing to remember here is how grapefruity is it? The Australia and New Zealand profile is more citrusy or grapefruity. The US Sauvignon Blancs are less. Meanwhile, the French Sauvignon Blancs are more sophisticated and pair better with more foods. Because of the three distinctively different taste profiles, Sauvignon Blanc can be somewhat tricky to pair with, but I encourage you to give it a try during the course of this fall. Listen, if you do, let me know what you think. Hey, how are you doing there? Is this information helpful? If it is, write 10 in the comments below. All right, up next for whites is white blends. Now, blended wine is when you use more than one grape varietal to make your wine. Blending different grapes together creates a more complex and interesting wine. There are phenomenal blends in virtually every economic category. Historically, France has been the leader in blending wine, so for better blends, I would start with France. Okay, so here's a pretty simple tip that will save you a lot of headaches. The key to pairing wine and food is to match the heaviness of the sauce in, in your dish. The lighter the sauce, the lighter the wine. The heavier the sauce, the heavier the wine. White blends are heavier than many other whites. This will be very helpful as you enjoy heavier harvest foods this fall. Now, one type of wine that will actually be heavier than your blends is Chardonnay. Chardonnay is great for fall, particularly when aged in oak. As you see, its flavor range from uh, apples and lemons to papaya and pineapple, and it also uh, shows notes of vanilla when aged in oak. Now, as we transition from whites to reds, we can't forget about rosés. Rosés tend to have uh, crisp acidity. Um, they're blush pink in color and can run from light body to medium, medium light body. There are 10 different rosé styles, so you're really going to have a difficult time putting your finger on the specific taste profile. This is a fun category to experiment with. With enough intentionality and the right food pairing, a rosé could be the perfect finishing touch to your next fall gathering. Here we get to our reds. The number one lightest body red is the favorite of many, Pinot Noir. Grown throughout the world, look first to the Burgundy region of France, then onto Oregon and then California. Pinots feature a uh, juicy complexity without the gigantic tannins or big bodies like calves and so many other big reds. Uh, it's light and pleasant mouthfeel uh, makes it ideal for an easy start to any meal. As you can see, with food, peanuts are very versatile. It's light enough for salmon and complex enough for rich meats like duck. Next up is our Barbera. You can find Barbera from many different places around the world. However, Italy is my default country. Uh, this is one of the best varietals and is it, it's extremely, that was easy for me to say, it's extremely drinkable. I have several friends whose number one wine is Barbera. As you can see, it's unique. Barbera is relatively affordable compared to most of the other reds and it's perfect alongside a burger or a slice of pizza or two. Grenache is our next varietal. Bear with me here because this one has some layers to it and uh, it would be good for you to, to remember some of these layers. You can see here that I have divided uh, this up into three taste profiles, general, French, and Spanish. Keep in mind, Grenache is known as Garnacha in Spain. Uh, this grape, though produced in several regions, is best known for its wines produced in southern France with Chateauneuf de Pop being the most famous. Chateauneuf is a red blend and is made with the Grenache grape along with a couple of other grapes. Also, Cote Cerone, another Grenache blend from the same area, are made from the same grapes but are a quarter of the price as Chateauneuf. So if you're like me, 
and you love Chateau Neuf de Pop, but maybe need um, just to save a little cash to the coming holiday season, give Coach Ceron a try again this fall. And actually, if you're wanting to save some money, Grenache wines from Spain are going to be the best bang for the buck. But this is, that being said, whether it's Grenache from Spain, Grenache from France, Chateauneuf de Pop, or Coach de Rhone, each of these four are great choices for co the cooler months. They can be enjoyed on their own or with outdoor grilled foods, roasted meats, and veggies. Up next is Sangiovese. Now, when you see Chianti, that's Sangiovese. Honestly, of all the wines I'm listing in this video, I think Chianti wines are the wines you should be looking for first. Go to my site and filter by Sangiovese. Hey, check out these profiles and pairings. With this wine, your cookout will be an absolute success. Tempranillo is our next phenomenal wine. Two words you're going to be looking for on the bottle are Crianza and Rioja. Perfect choice for the patio or deck. Great as a cocktail wine with its uh, juicy red fruit profile. There's enough structure uh, in it to stand up with um, anything coming off the grill. Our next to the last red is the Montepulciano. Uh, this is another medium bodied Italian with medium high tannins. As you can see, it's pretty versatile wine. It's great with beef brisket, pizza, and a whole host of uh, casual foods. Our last 2021 fall wine is Blaufrankisch. Uh, this is from Austria and is truly unique, but not the easiest wine to find. When you do, support that retailer, <laughs> or me. Uh, this is a wonderful wine. I see this paired with your favorite fall dishes, uh, maybe some barbecue on the grill and a football game. You can do that all day long. Uh, you can find Blaufrankisch in a variety of price points. Some may run upwards of $40 and others are much more uh, wallet friendly. <laughs> all right, are you ready for the bonus? This will be super quick. If you want to download a, a list of all the varietals that we talked about today and several others that are perfect for the season, just head over to my website, astywines.com backslash fall 2021. Folks, as with all of our wines, it's important to note we have a limited supply and they may not be available in all states. If you'd like any of these varietals, click their link in the description below. Actually, if you're going to order a couple times a year, check out the free shipping option. Uh, that's what I do. Thanks again for joining me. Make sure you watch these other videos. And remember to hit like and subscribe if you got something out of, of this episode. Until next time, cheers.